In our last video, we built the UI for our login form. But as with most things in development, there is a common hiccup we run into when dealing with forms in React Native. Let me show that to you. First, let's make a small change in our UI. Above the username label, I'm going to render an image. Make sure to import the component from React Native. Source, we're going to require the adaptive icon from the assets folder. Dot slash assets slash adaptive icon dot png. This icon right here. We will also add style is equal to styles dot image. And with the style sheet API, a new key image width 200, height 200, align self center, and margin bottom 50. Now, if we jump back to our UI, we can see the form with the adaptive icon image. If we tap on the password field on the iOS device and press Command Shift K to bring up the keyboard, do you notice something off? The keyboard completely overlays the input element. It's practically invisible. And let's be honest, this is not a great user experience. Luckily, React Native has a solution for us, the keyboard avoiding view component. Let's import it from React Native. Now, replace our outermost view container with keyboard avoiding view both opening and closing tags. On this component, we also set a prop behavior is equal to padding. This ensures that the component increases its padding at the bottom, matching the keyboard's height. Let's take a look at our UI. Tap on password, and our form gracefully moves up, revealing the input element. Problem solved? Well, not entirely. I'm going to set the image height to 400. Now, if we revisit our UI, you'll notice that the input is hiding again when the keyboard pops up. Once again, we have a fix. And that is a prop called keyboard vertical offset. Setting it to 100 usually does the trick. Restart the app, bring up the keyboard, and you can see. Our view is offset by 100 pixels, making our input visible once more. But wait, there is a tiny problem for our Android users. When I tap on the password field, you can see there is this unnecessary space that is introduced by the offset. So what is the solution? Well, a platform-specific offset. Let's import the platform module and adjust our offset to only apply to iOS devices. Platform.operating system is equal to iOS offset by 100. If we restart our application and take a look at our UI, we see that the UI is much better on both Android and iOS. The keyboard avoiding view can be a tricky component in React Native. It might test your patience but with the basics we have covered today, you're well positioned to deal with it. All right, in our next video, we'll be diving into mandatory field validation for our login form. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more React Native content.